Hi friends, welcome back to the sessions on gems of geometry. And uh, in this session, we are going to take up uh, a series of uh, theorems which are related to circles. So in the previous series, we saw lots of theorems related to do a triangle. Uh, we saw pedal triangle, orthic triangle, and uh, many other uh, properties of uh, those triangles. And uh, from this session onwards, we are going to deal with a lot of theorems which are related to circles. And yes, uh, on and off, we'll also see, uh, let's say, mixed concept of circles and other polygons. So the first session is about uh, two intersecting chords, and it is a very famous and very common result as well. So in in the this in this session, we are going to discuss this theorem, which is that if two chords B, E, and C, D intersect at a point f then bf into fe is equal to cf into fd right so you can see in this diagram f is the point of intersection of cd and be right they are intersecting at point f now uh, it's given that bf into fe or we have to basically prove that bf this bf this part into fe the other part of the same chord is equal to product of the two parts of the other other chord as well right so let's see uh, whether it is true so we will first uh, uh, demonstrate that yes indeed it is true and then we'll try to prove it so here is a circle four points you can see c b d and e and i'm, and I'm going to change the positions of d to change the positions of other points as well especially f so let's see if uh, the result is always same so here i am changing the location of point d okay so can you see i am changing the point d so you can see the result you can see here both the product lhs of this relationship and rhs of this relationship are equal can you see that so it's always same so hence it looks like it looks like the theorem is true right valid so i'm changing e as well so that there is no confusion see e as well so everything every time i change the location of e that means if you can see the location of f is changing and hence the four segment lengths are changing and you can see the value remains the same let me try this value as well so yeah there is absolutely no change wherever i take the points and hence now if you see if i change the radius of the circle will that also impact or will there be no impact so if you see i am changing the radius and still there is no difference guys yep so they are even if the radius is changing or the location of b any four points you are changing even if the radius changes doesn't matter so if you see the lhs and rhs of the given result always are equal and you can see that uh, by this demonstration we can show at least that they these products are equal and here is the proof as well so you can it's very simple proof based on similarity of triangles so you join bd and ce so in triangle bfd here if bfd and cfe if you see bfd and cfe these two triangles are similar i can prove that how so for example bfd this angle this angle is 37.6 when it is demonstrated here and this angle is also 37.61 so both are equal has to be why because they are vertically opposite angles so whatever be the case if you see the vertically opposite angles are always same right and then uh, bfd so uh, the other triangle is uh, uh, bdf so bdf this is another angle and cef these two sorry cf um it should be CEF, yeah. CEF and BDF both are same. Why? Because you can you can check here. This is alpha 56.74, beta 56.74, and irrespective of the point E, the two angles are not going to change. Can you see it, it is 56.74 in this case? Correct. So hence these two angles are all also equal. So so these two triangles, this one B F D and C F E are always similar by double A or A A similarity criteria okay so we know that if two triangles are similar their uh, sides are proportional so hence i can write fd upon fe is equal to fb 
upon f c repeat f d upon f e these are the corresponding sides so hence f b upon f c corresponding sides ratios are equal so i can write that and then you cross multiply to get the desired result b f into f e is equal to c f into f d so what did we learn guys we learned that if two chords you know intersect each other so then their product of their segments are equal i can take a special case when this is let's say the dia okay can you see it's diameter now both are intersecting at the center almost so you know so the lengths are almost six point almost six isn't it so yes so this is yeah yes six all are six all the four parts now are equal to six can you see so hence two intersecting diameters anyways we'll divide each other in you know two radii so then also the uh the theorem will be valid isn't it so that's the learning of this theorem